Welcome back to making this dirty iPhone, this grungy iPhone. We're going to be looking at the glass in this tutorial. We added the dust in the previous one and we're now going to be looking at roughness maps and well, some bumps or displacement maps, whichever one works better. So we're going to be adding some fingerprints and some scratches to the glass, which is going to make it pop to another level. So let's dive right into Blender. All right, what else can we do? Well, there, there's quite quite a lot of things we can do to make this look more, more used, more real. All right, and there are two things we're going to be adding right from the start, which has something to do with the glass material. All right, so select your glass, let's go to the materials, and the material of glass, it is very, very easy usually. This one is just a principal PSDF with a low roughness, roughness of zero actually, with the transmission cranked up to one, which means it's going to be see-through. Right? So what we're going to do is we have Blender Kit and the thing that people don't really use it for, at least not what I've seen a lot, is for just the, the grunge textures and stuff like that. And that is what actually Blender Kit is very, very nice at. For example, I want to add fingerprints here. If I t search for fingerprints, there are a few materials for just the fingerprints, as you can see. All right, so that is something we can just use straight from Blender Kit. Now, if we apply this, it's going to be black. It's going to be a black material with fingerprints. I just want that fingerprint roughness, right? At the places where you touch your phone with your fingerprints, it leaves a little bit of oil, a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of oil. So it changes the roughness of your screen a little bit, it makes it a little bit dirty, right? So that the places where you touch the screen are going to be rougher. It's going to appear rougher, not as glossy. So we just need the roughness map of that material. So I'm going to hit plus in the material tab of the screen and just assign that fingerprint there. And what I want pretty much is just the, um, the texture coordinate with the texture map. And I want the roughness texture, which is the second one. So hold shift and select all of those nodes, right mouse, copy, go to the glass material and just paste it in here, right mouse, paste or control V. And we can just connect, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, connect the fingerprint um, texture to the roughness of that screen. There we go. Now nothing is really happening. Um, and the, the primary reason is that we have to just UV unwrap this real quick. So change the right window to UV editor, press tab on your screen, press A, press U, and I'm just gonna project this from view. All right, so we can always see how this is going to line up with our fingerprints and make sure to make this a realistic kind of size of the fingerprints. This is a little bit too big. You can see those fingerprints are quite small and we need to have some bigger fingerprints on the screen, something like that perhaps. All right, and I'm going to try to line this up a little bit as well because the place where you will have the strongest hint of a fingerprint is going to be where your finger and um, your finger sensor is your fingerprint sensor on your phone where you unlock it with all right so i'm going to select one for example this one is looking quite bright i'm going to move that to about where i'm not sure where it is for the iphone actually but i have a i have a samsung and it is right there at the bottom part of your screen so right there so this is going to be i'm not sure if this is the top or this is the top of the phone we'll see in a second i guess now just move to um front view or to camera view i mean and let's see how this is looking. Uh, you can't really see it. Let's see if we can change that a little bit. So go to shader, editor, select our screen. And we may simply have to add a color ramp in between. Right there. And what I'm gonna do is just disable this particle system for a second so we can see our texture. You can see there is something happening, but it's not that strong. So if you want this to be stronger, you can move things together a little bit more. And black is a very rough, or sorry, is very smooth. And white is going to be like those rougher patches of fingerprints. All right, so we can control that ourselves just like that. So now we actually have some fingerprints on there that is looking quite nice already. All right, so we can always just go to the UV editor window, press tab and try to just move this, rotate this on 180 degrees. There we go. This is a strong fingerprint that I was talking about. That is actually there for the fingerprint sensor. All right, so now if we go to our world settings, 
and I have an HDRI edit from polyhaven.com. You can download them for free. Mine is called Reading Room. If you want the same one, you can download that. And now you can rotate that around as well to see how it affects like the, um, the shading of your scene. So now you can see we get some more dirty textures going on, all right? Because we have some of that strong reflections in there. And that always looks better with those fingerprints because that is just, it reveals them way more, right? You can see that with your own phone as well. If you keep it in the shadow, you can't really see the fingerprints. But once you have it in direct sunlight, it's going to look like a shite. Okay, well, let's go back to the shader editor. Let's see. Maybe we can just crank this color ramp back to so make this a little bit more spread out, more even. Something like that is already way better. All right, so UV editor, press tab. I'm going to scale this even down a bit more right there. That's looking great. Nice. I like it. Now let's re-enable our dust as well. Just like that. We already have a way more realistic screen that can just be lying around on your table. All right. Th this is two steps in. It's very easy. And once you make those dust particles, you can save them, export your Blender file, save it just like a dust collection. Right. And then you can just append those objects for anything you need in the future as well. Right, so this is basically a one-time thing you have to set up. Nice. Next step. We want some scratches. Right. I, I use my phone a lot. I am not that smart when using my phone. I scratch it. I Sometimes I, by accident, just had have it in the same pocket as my keys. Call me a rookie. I just make mistakes. Okay, so I have some scratches. You probably have some scratches, some tiny ones. If you look very close up, there are some, some tiny things on your screen. Probably. All right, probably. If not, well, credits to you. You're doing a great job. But we can just, like we did for fingerprints, we can now search for scratches. Right? And it will be, well, it won't be a very easy map, perchance. There is actually, there is a scratch map. Oh my God, isn't that amazing? There's just a scratch map we can use. You can always use, for example, the metal scratched and use, oh no, I selected that. And use only the, um, sorry, use only the scratch map from that, which is something, are we gonna do that? Um, let's see what the best one is. I don't want a lot of scratches, I just want a few. This is looking, this is looking too, too damaged in my opinion. So I'm just gonna play around with that scratch map instead, okay? So I'm gonna go to the material settings, add a new material and just apply the scratch map there. Right, so the reason why I'm adding new materials is because I want to copy something from those materials. All right, so go to shader editor. The thing we need here, I think this one is just a texture map that results in a height map. So just only copy the procedural scratch map with the UVs as well. Right mouse, copy, go to glass, Right mouse, paste. Beautiful. Now we can just connect that to the displacement. Shift A and let's search for a displacement texture right there. And let's just connect that to the height instead of the normal. There we go. So if we zoom in, we have some nice scratches. Um, they are quite big, I think. Yeah, they are very big, very strong as well. So we can just set the skill to be a little bit lower. So we, that's even too strong still. 0.05. Better, better. 0.005. Displacement maps are usually very strong to start off with. So I usually crank that down a lot. This may, may even be too strong still. It's looking better already. Um, yeah, something like this is fine. 0.005. You can make it as small as you want. And I'm looking at those big scratches right there. All right, that's looking great actually. We have a few scratches there at the bottom. So I'm on the side, looks like it has actually been used. It may even be too strong, so we can just set that even more down if you'd like. Something like that. That's looking fine. Now we can also control those scratches, of course, because we have a texture coordinate in there. And there's actually a location built into that, um, that node already. So we can play around with the scale of the scratches, the placement, the noise. There, there's a lot, a lot to play around with, the randomize. We can randomize the scratches more if we'd like. Um, I'm just going to keep that at one and maybe just change the location a little bit. Just so it is at a more um, straightforward location. 
All right, so those corners of your phone are the, probably the one part that get damaged the most if you drop it, for example. They may even be too big, right? Those scratches are very, very big. So we're going to be scaling those down in a second. I'm just playing around with the location. Don't worry about it. Yeah, something like that's looking fine. Now the scale, um, it's always a question whether move, making it smaller or bigger does the trick. 15. It's looking the wrong direction. 45 perhaps. Yeah, that's making them smaller a little bit. All right, so I want some tiny scratches. So I'm going to set this at like 38. 38 looks a beautiful. We have some nice tiny scratches on our phone. Amazing. Now, if you still think it's too strong, just change its skill to be even smaller. All right, it's not that easy. You can just change the actual skill of your displacement map. And this is looking quite beautiful. All right, change the location a little bit, perhaps. Do whatever you feel like you got to do. All right, something like this is already looking nice. We have some tiny scratches on there. Looking beautiful. All right, that has been it for this tutorial. The glass is looking quite fine, if you ask me. And in the next one, we're going to be looking at that metal material part of the phone. And we may also be adding some, some stuff on the ground where it is lying. Some dust gathering up or something like that. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Any one of those will make me incredibly happy. And I'll see you in the next one.